Good evening, everyone. I'm Miss Carrie, and I'm with the Kenton County Public Library from the Covington Branch. How is everybody tonight? Good to see everybody. So tonight we are going to make rain sticks. So very calming. We're also going to make a stress ball. I'm sure some of us are stressed right now, just with everything going on. So these are really easy to make. Okay, so for the rain stick, you're going to need a paper towel roll, um, a piece of construction paper, a fourth cup of rice, and some aluminum foil. So the first thing that you're going to do is tear off your aluminum foil. So I have a piece right here that I've already torn off, and it's about one size, about one and three fourths of the size of the roll. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the long end and you're gonna start to just fold it over. But you also will need some kind of stick, um, maybe the end of a spoon or a marker or something like that. Uh, to, we're gonna make a spiral with this, we're gonna foil it. And you want to go ahead and um, you want to just fold this over pretty loose. You don't need this one tight. And like this. And I'm going to just use a dowel rod that I have. You could use the end of a spoon. You could use a marker. You could try to do it with your finger. Um, so what you want to do is take the foil and you're just going to wrap it around so it makes a spiral. Now, what I found out is you need to do this on something where you can just easily slide it off. So um, you could use a broom handle as long as you're able to slide it completely off. Does it make sense if some, some broom handles have that plastic part so you can't really slide it up. Um, so you just want a spiral like that. Okay, so we have one of these. And then we're going to do our small one. So this one is just a little bit over the size of the, the two. Now you're going to fold this with the smaller, starting on the smallest side. So in this one, we want to, to roll this one tightly. I'm going to get that really tight. Working. Okay, so we've got that really, really tight. Smash it all the way down because I need that to be as skinny as I can get it to be. You could use less foil. I want mine to be sturdy. So for this one, I'm going to take, you could use um, a smoothie straw. I'm just going to use a magic marker to make a smaller coil. And just like with the dowel rod, you're just gonna work this around. This one might be trickier because it's, it's tighter. I'm just gonna keep working that around. And like I said before, you wanna make sure that the top or even the bottom, that you could just easily slide this off. So slide that off. So now I have a small coil and a large coil. Okay. So now we're gonna go on to our two. So for the tube, you're gonna to need to cut out two circles. And then with those two circles, you're gonna trace the end of your tube onto the circle. Uh, these circles are three inches. If you wanna cut three inch circles. Okay, so now I've traced my tube circle onto there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that as a guide because I need to cut into that circle around. I'm just going to keep going around. They're kind of going to look like flower petals. And this is so we can wrap the ends of our tube in this. Just keep cutting. Show you the pretty side so I can see. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
So I've taped one end on, so what you'll do is you'll add that to your end, and you're only gonna do one end at first. Smash it over, and then you're gonna tape that around. You can use scotch tape, packing tape, um, any kind of tape that you have will work. So I've got one taped on. Now, I'm gonna go back to my coils, and I'm gonna insert the small coil into the bigger coil. I might want to, actually I might have done that a little too loose, so let me tighten that up. So making the little coil, it's going to help slow down the rice when it's in the tube, and then I'm going to insert that in, put all the way in there. Now, you need to add a fourth cup of rice. So I've got my funnel. You have a funnel. You can use a funnel. If you don't, you can use a, you can turn a piece of paper into a funnel. You can try it without a funnel. So I'm going to get a fourth cup of rice out. You don't want to, you don't want to add too much rice because the point of the rain stick is for the rice to slowly fall to the bottom to help create that rain effect. If you add too much rice, it's kind of just going to spill to the bottom. It's not going to really sound like rain. So I'm going to add a fourth a cup. Shake that in there. Shaking that in there. Okay, so I've got that done. Now I need to take my other cap, my other circle, and I need to go ahead and tape that on. So get my scotch tape out. This does not need to look pretty because we're going to cover it up. So you can decorate this with almost anything you have. You can let your kids paint their tubes. They can color the, they could cover them in wrapping paper, construction paper, glitter. Uh, you could use pom-poms. However they want to decorate it, they could decorate it with leaves from outside, with flowers. However they want to decorate it is completely up to them. Uh, they could use stickers, whatever. So tonight I'm just using a floral piece of Hey Miss Martin. You're steadily stealing this idea. That's great. Awesome. Hey, I'll come do it for your class. Just call me. So, uh, so for this, I'm just going to cover my tube in a piece of paper. I did not cut it to the complete length of the tube. I did about maybe a quarter of an inch less on each side. But I made sure, I tried to make sure I left enough to where I'm going to cover up all my tape mess. So what I'm going to do is this, I'm just going to start taping this on. Tape this first piece down. Again, you can use any kind of tape you want. I would recommend using tape and not glue though. Oh my, this paper is so incorporate. So, okay, struggling with tape on live. This is great. I'm going to get all that taped on. I chose a, a scrapbook piece of paper that has glitter on it. So it's a little, it's a little more heavier in area. So it's, this tape's getting a little stick, having trouble sticking, but I, got, I think I got it. So there, there's my rain stick. It's the one I made before. I just used floral paper for this one. Sounds like rain, right? That calming. I love when it rains outside, opening the windows and just listening to the rain. I think maybe that's all. But, so yeah. So the kids can experiment with the coils inside. You can try to make them tighter. You could add more. And that's just going to help change the flow of the rice. So it's going to change the sound that you get. So great lesson if you want to teach about sound and movement. It's a great activity to do. Um, so for our next project, 
we are going to do a stress ball. So for this project, you need two balloons, two latex balloons. I have blue and white. Then you need a baggie with, I put a fourth cup of flour in my baggie. Um, it's preferable if you use the sandwich bags that just fold over, but if you don't have those, you just can cut off this, the um, zipper part, the seal, you know, what seals the baggie. Just cut that off. And what we're going to do is I kind of just twist, I take, put the flour in, I move it down to one of the corners, and then I twist it around, kind of like you were doing um, a bag full of icing if you were going to ice a cake. And then I'm just going to set that to the side. Okay, for my balloon. Take a balloon and you have to decide which color do you want your face to be. We're going to go ahead and do a white face with a blue body for this one. This one I did pink and pink. So you're going to cut off the neck of your balloon. So this is going to be the body, the, the, this is what's going to show up as the face. You're going to stretch that out and you're going to take your bag of flour and kind of cram that in there. And it's okay that this is open. I put the um, open part of the flour down here so and made sure I twisted it so if it did break hopefully the mess wouldn't be too bad but again it's just flour so easy cleanup okay so I've got that now for the the mask part these are like little ninja stress balls I'm gonna take and cut that neck off again but I now I need to cut out a mask I'm going to try to get the air out of there. So somewhere on there, you're just going to pick where you think you want your mask to be, and you're going to cut half of a rectangle. It's a little mask. Ah. So there. Okay, now the side that's still open. That's gonna be on top. You're gonna take your mask and you're gonna flip it over. Oh, my mask isn't very big on this one, but that's okay. So now it's completely sealed. And then you just take a magic marker or a pen and you're gonna create a little face. So I'm just going to do some eyes and a happy face. So what I found out is you do a face here, but you could also give your ninja two faces. So maybe if you're really just stressed out, and you need a happier face, you can then take off the top and switch it to a different face. So kind of, or you could put sayings on it and you could just flip, you know, the top layer balloon around depending on what saying you want. You can write sayings, um, you know, all over your balloon. I will say that playing with it, the magic marker will fade over time, but it really didn't come off on my hands. So as I was playing with it, but I did notice it did fade. So... There's our little stress ball ninja. Kids will love this. You can also play around with, so the more flour you add, the bigger it's gonna be, but also the firmer it's gonna be. So you kinda just wanna play around with what is comfortable for your hand. So you can always add more flour, less flour. You could also use, um, uh, what is it, brown sugar. My only suggestion with that is you might wanna keep that uh, stored somewhere where ants can't get to it because it's ant season so but I thought that would be a nice texture to like put in your stress ball and squeeze but I don't think the ants will be attracted to the flower so it should be safe that way and so I can just pull this over so it's fun you could um you can add to this you could take your baggie 
and you could tie it off and you could just add different balloons. You could make different shapes. You just play with this. It's a fun activity, activity for kids to just add to. You could probably make a snowman. You know, if you took your baggie and you tied it off into three and then you added your balloons around it. So one of your balloons, you'd probably have to cut the bottom and the top off to get that middle part, but you can just play around with it. If you do any of these projects, please post them in the comments below. I'd love to see everybody's creativity. If you have any other uh, tips for either, either of these projects, please post those as well. I'm always looking for feedback on the stuff that I'm offering. Um, so we do miss you at the library. I hope to see everybody uh, back in the library soon. But for now, you can view all of our programs that we're doing online. We have a story time every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday morning at 10. We have how to Monday at four, Wednesday at four, and we're gonna start one that's going to be done in Spanish Thursdays at four. So Miss Dagmar is going to be doing that one. It's our first one is this week. So make sure you turn, tune in for that. Um, you may be sure to check out all of our online databases at kittenlibrary.org. You can apply for library cards. You can use our chat reference and we can take care of any of account issues that you might have. Yep. Thanks, Gina. Hey, Gina. Hey, Lauren. How's everyone doing? Good. So hopefully this one was a calming one for you. I'll be sure to check out uh, Miss Erin does some yoga Monday mornings and Friday evenings. So be sure to check those out. Um, the Monday one is at nine and I believe the Friday one's either at four or five. I can't remember off the top of my head. So we have a lot of, oh, hi, a um, lot of stuff going on and we're in the midst of planning our June stuff. So we will have some new stuff for you in June to go along with our summer reading, um, which is Imagine Your Story, which is all about uh, fantasy, mythology. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we'll be doing some programs around that. Be sure that on September, or September, Saturday, June 6th, we'll be doing our summer reading kickoff. So we can't have it in the branches, so we're bringing it online. So we'll have a lot more details in the next couple weeks about all of what we will be offering for the kickoff. It's gonna be a blast, different way of doing stuff, but you know what? Kind of rolling with the punches and trying to get as much service as we can out to our patrons. And we really can't wait to see you guys back. Yoga's at four on Fridays, thank you. So, um, yeah, so I hope, I know school's getting ready to be out, yay! <laughs> um, so summer's starting, so be sure to check out the library because we're gonna have a lot of projects for you to complete. You know, once we're able to get our drive-through services back up, we may be able to put some craft kits together, so I'll be able to provide stuff like this for you to come pick up and then you can go home and join who, whoever's doing the live that night and actually complete the craft with them um, instead of having to gather up all your own supplies. That'll probably be on a limited basis, kind of like while supplies last. And it really depends on if what kind of restrictions are put in place when we are able to get some of those services back to the public. So thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. And um, I can't wait to see everyone back at the library soon. Thank you. Have a good night.